We expect to hear accents in the deep south or the east coast or in states like Minnesota. But how about here in Seattle? It's subtle, but linguists think some Seattle sounds may venture from traditional pronunciations. So take a listen to this report from King 5's Joe Fryer. Would you like the same thing or do you want to try something different? With a menu unlike any place in Seattle. For sure. I know, right? You could say Minnesotans are drawn to Zeta Buddies. It's basically a Midwest bar. Yeah, do you need something? There. Like tater tots are drawn to Hot Dish. You nailed it right there, yeah. Minnesota native Joel Radin opened the restaurant five years ago. In lieu of a three-hour plane ride, he's offering up a taste of home here. Do you like that? Where thin crust pizzas are topped with sauerkraut and green olives, and Wisconsin cheese curds are dressed in a coat of breading. They're deep fried here. An upper Midwest experience, not just for taste buds. They say, don't you know? But for eardrums. Is that what they say in Minnesota? Minnesota. You see, in Joel's home state, perhaps no ingredients are more distinctive than the vowels that make up the words. When I first moved here, I didn't realize it, but people thought I was like, where are you from? And are you from Canada? Certainly there are no such accents here in Seattle. No. No. I'm pretty biased. I'd say no. No. Not at all. Right? It's the most generic form of speech. The norm for how to pronounce something. Just straight American. In my humble opinion. What they do is take measurement. But if you pose that question to an expert, is there a Seattle accent? Well, you get this. The answer is maybe. Betsy Evans, a linguistics professor at UW, says research is in the early stages. So we can play sounds. But she points to work by her colleague who recorded Seattle voices. Beg. Beg. Listen closely. Beg. What word does that sound like to you? If we go back and put it in a little bit more context. Koshu beg. You mean one of these? Some people in Seattle pronounce the word bag like beg. Yeah, I catch myself mispronouncing beg. I say bag, but a lot of people that I know say beg. I try to say bag all the time. Oh shoot, did I just say it wrong? And what do you put in a grocery bag? Egg. 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 Did you catch that? For some people in, in Seattle, bacon and eggs is bacon and eggs. It's a really pretty day. For evidence, look no further than Woody Braden Egg. and Jenna Williams. Egg. <laughs> He's from Seattle, she's from Florida, and they're engaged. But you pronounce it egg. It's egg. No, <laughs> egg. We can only hope this is their biggest disagreement. Egg. Egg. <laughs> There's no accent, that's how you pronounce it. Look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> For those who did not grow up here, it's pretty noticeable. Egg. <laughs> really? They say egg? Even frustrating. <laughs> no, it's egg. E-G-G. Egg. One yeah. would expect to hear such sounds in the upper Midwest, places like Minnesota, but why here? We really don't know yet why this pronunciation exists here in Seattle. More research is needed, however, linguists have identified another sound that's quite prevalent in the western U.S. They call it the low back vowel merger, and it can be found in these two words. Notice how people from Seattle say one. Don. 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 Then the other. Don. 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 And Don. Don. <laughs> See, it's the same. I see the difference, but I don't know if it's sounding different now. But listen to someone from Ohio say one. Don. Then the other. Don. It's a completely different vowel. It's the same with these two words. To some, the vowels have merged. Caught. Caught. But not to others. Caught. Caught. Really small difference. Kaya Brooks up there in the tree actually grew up in the Northwest. So what's her excuse for not merging the vowels? My family is full of Anglophiles and British television, and I'm not going to pretend that we weren't somewhat influenced by uh, non-Seattle accents. <laughs> well, it's not nearly as strong as a y'all from the South. People in Washington do perceive some kind of accent here. Absolutely. Yes. The and that's what Professor Evans studies perceptions. And what I found is pretty consistently people feel that eastern Washington sounds different. Whether that's actually true will also take more research. We have some kind of accent, right? No. Gracias. I think it's all in the context. Deutsche Scoot. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. If you're at the bar, sometimes you start to say big. 
instead of bag. As linguists try to unlock the mystery. There is a Seattle accent. No way. Uh -huh. <laughs> of the sounds of Seattle. I don't see the difference. Joe Fryer. <laughs> I definitely heard it. Did you? King 5 News. <laughs> That's funny.